This video, we are breaking down Kobo versus TJ, two of the best young players in the community. And Kobo runs a little bit of an unorthodox offense. He's in trips tight end. He's the only, he's the only player in the competitive field that is in the run and gun playbook, I believe. And he also, as you see here, is the belt winner. He's made over $176,000. I'm pretty sure only two years of like real MCS play could be more than that. But I think this was last year. He was a rookie. Uh, TJ, rookie of the year, pretty much $100,000. Uh, this game is for like $40,000 or something like that. So a lot of money on the line. Uh, winner will, winner will, uh, Kobo could go over $200,000 earned. Uh, TJ could go uh, basically to one fifty dollars if he wins this game. Off the bat, uh, Kobo is going to be on defense, so he's got to be excited about that. And TJ is running the Bears playbook. Now, TJ switches to Bears. And this is going to be a fun little game to break down because Kobo is a lab route. I love studying Kobo's film. I think Kobo is one of those guys that a lot of people just don't realize how, uh, like I said, like I said, just he's just a lab rat, man. He just figures stuff out, finds stuff. Uh, there's a reason why he's in trip side in uh, when nobody else is, right? So a uh, lot of good stuff to study, a lot of good stuff to look at here. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at just the 30,000-foot level of what we're looking at. Like I said, TJ is in the Bears playbook on offense. He, what, he's been in Jets all year long. In this tournament, he, sw he switches, and he's going to be running Bears primarily so that he can go to tight slots. Tight slots halfback week has been one of the best offenses in the game for the last three years. It is really, really good this year again, but I will say um, it's not as good as it has been over the last couple of seasons because man coverage is not as popular as it has been. So without further ado, let's uh, let's let's get into this. All right. So uh, Kobo on defense, I'm pretty sure he is in dollar. I'm pretty sure he's in dollar. Uh, he does some weird stuff. When I was watching this film, I was like, oh, that's some weird stuff that he's doing. Um, let's see if we can, can we not get this, this thing to load here? Let's get on D here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. First and 10 for this. And, uh, all right. Got it fixed. Here we go. Uh, first play on offense for, for Kobo or for uh, TJ. He has ball first. So, okay. Right off the bat. I just want to say, look at this, look at this front. It's, I'm not sure what this is. I'm pretty sure this is dollar and he just shifts this linebacker to the right, which you have not seen that at all. And this is what I'm saying. Like Kobo is a lab rat. He's going to find stuff that you just haven't seen. And he's going to, and he's going to run that on you. Right. So, um, he's shifting this guy over here. And the only thing I can think of is he's going to want to basically double flat. Uh, what do I mean by double flat? Have a hard flat, have a curl flat, have a third, have a third, have a third and then have a cloud, and then he's going to use her here. So it's basically setting up to run double Mabel is what it seems like to me. Um, but we'll have to watch this because I have not seen this look at all. Okay, a little different. Okay, so what he does is he's going to blitz this guy through the A-gap. This is not – you just have not seen this defense uh, at all. Uh, he's actually using the left slot corner. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Haven't seen this. So let's just watch it. Let's see what the coverage is back in. So we're sending three. Sending three. Hard flat, curl flat, little vert hook here. I don't know. I think this is just a cover two. So we're going to cover two over here, which means his defender is isolated here. So uh, the purpose of this defense for Kobo probably is something very specific to try to stop TJ's offense. TJ is really, in my opinion, the guy that put this bunch strong on the map this year. We've got Durham, very good combo with the little running back uh, streak and then this little wheel. So, yeah, let's just uh, let's just see how this first drive goes, because I have not seen this. Not not even not have not even. I'm just shocked that he's in this defense. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. OK, so uh, right off rip. And, and, and Kobo, like I said, lab rat. So he's going to know something. He's gonna, he always knows something, okay? So you see here, shift this guy to the right. Looks like this guy shifted. Oh, he's he's got to be using this guy. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> this isn't even coming in. I don't know. I mean, he blocked his running back, though. I just haven't seen this. So first drive, I mean, that was open. He just got a KO. 
Shift right. Okay, so we're pinching a line. We're shifting right. And basically, he's saying this puts him in perfect position to, to, to come through this A-gap. It's kind of like 3-3-5 odd. Uh, if you think about how 3-3-5 odd, they move the guy to the right a little bit. Uh, that's the idea. I don't know that that's the best way to run this blitz. I, he, he's got to know something I don't know. But he's based on line. He's not even pressing. He's not even pressing. Which, by the way, this is interesting this year. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was a touchdown. Wow. Okay, we'll get a red. Uh, I was going to say what's interesting. I was watching John Beast, and I was doing a film breakdown on John Beast and who do you play? Wesley. And he would leave these guys kind of in this middle section of the field. So he's not pressing. Kobo's not pressing. All he's doing is shifting his linebackers to the right and then basically adjusting from there. Uh, but what we have, what this creates is four on one side and three on the other side with your user. Now here, he's going to use her here. And I guess the idea would be that TJ would not be able to identify, uh, identify who you're using, which I could see that being valuable. Uh, does he go to tight slots here? Yeah. So this is uh, post will. So he's trying to throw that. I mean, this just, uh, this is, this has been the last three plays from TJ, just bad at accuracy throws. And uh, this was, if I remember right, this was a very sloppy start on both sides. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. This is this right here. This is a W. You gotta love the Dark Knight. It's a great movie. Fourth major. He destroyed Henry in the last tournament. He absolutely destroyed him, and he made Madden Bowl last year. That was last year at Madden Bowl was really where things started for Kobo, and he actually got destroyed. And I don't know if he didn't destroy. Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he got beat pretty handily by Henry last year but anyway okay so this is what i love this is what i want to talk about so uh kobo this combo and and i i just you know you can't credit anybody but kobo with this he's the trips master this year at least in my opinion look at this real quick so this is uh pa crossers it's got this really interesting crosser and really up until this year this has not been a mainstream route like most people aren't throwing this normally what they're trying to do is throw this guy on a crosser well this year we're going to streak this guy. So if this guy's in a middle third, this will take that away. It also has this little corner out to the tight end. So if this guy's in a third, guess where that third has to go? He has to go here, which creates this massive space to be able to throw that crosser. So, uh, yeah, let's just check this out. This is a cool play. All right, so right off rip, TJ is in DB fire, or at least that's how the blitz played out. So we're going to send four. Uh, let's see here from a coverage perspective what we're doing. We've got a little cloud flat. Uh, that cloud flat really is honestly a useless zone, in my opinion, against trips because you can throw this corner out over the top of it. I'm pretty sure this is a running back streak here. Yep, running back streak. So what's the running back streak do? It's in the same grid as the deep half, so he has to stay still. That is wide open. I think that's pretty bad defense, in my opinion, uh, from TJ. Just bad adjustments for trips. I mean, I just never – there's never a time where cover two on the trip side or the tight end side works, in my opinion, unless you're backing this guy up. If he's backing that guy up, a little different, but he's not. So now we're going, okay, so this is this is like your – this is a cool play too. That's a kind of a uh, low-key – this is a shot play from Kobo. But I love this is why I like trips, man. I just love – I love trips. I, I think I'm going to jump back in trips just for fun. But I was so good and bunch strong. But anyway – drag so what do we have here we have a streak we have a corner so what do we have we have a high or a peak we have a primary that we're trying to hit over here and then we have this underneath that's going to hit right in here really all this section now the little thing that he does is he has a super deep post route right so let's say uh, he did the same adjustments that he did last time where the half over here or a third over here those two zones they're not going to cover this so that's probably the thought process there. Anyway, we're really looking for this corner route. He's not going to have it. He actually had triangle late, but he gets screamed at. This is why this is why you watch the games for the Kobo trips dots. I mean, Kobo, he's just unique. Nobody plays like Kobo. I, I really don't think – I mean, he is unique. He's the most unique player in this field for sure. Uh, here, I love this. So, okay, this is a really cool little game he plays. This is why – this is – this is why I like Kobo. I like watching him play. So you got a flat to the tight end. Why? Well, he was running cover two, right? So there's a half. This guy's in a cloud. The user's here, okay? 
Now, on the right side, pretty much been cover three uh, with a man up of triangle. So that's why we're going to send triangle to the flat. So we're going to waste that adjustment. Now, what we have is we have the user in the middle of the field. So the running back is streaking up field. So the user has to go over guard of the running back. So we're going to put this guy, pop him right in the middle. We should have all that space in the middle of the field. Throw it. Actually, he zigged him. Oh, okay. So no problem. So the streak here, and then we did a flat, a zig, which he really loves this combo. Why this is good is the flat clears out, the man up clears out. Now this guy's in a yellow zone, but he's not going to cover. This little pocket is really wide open. And then what Kobo does that's really cool is this guy should be on a backside in route. It used to be the wide receiver short post play out of the Bills playbook. Now he just smart routes an in route, which I actually think is better. And look at look at every – I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. <laughs> This is a gorgeous play. I mean, it's just a nice play. It's a cool play. I love watching Kobo play, man. He just does. You just don't see that combo. <laughs> you don't. Where do you see that combo? Um, that was cool. That was a cool play. All right, first and ten. Ball on a forty-eight left hash mark. So Kobo is always going to run his trips pretty much, from my memory, to the wide side of the field. We get a little motion over. Again, this is just he's going for a bomb. Okay, so what's been happening over here to the left? What's been happening? Well, we've had a cover two. So he's he's kind of basically, this is this dude's area. And then we've had this half. That's pretty much what we had. And then we have a user, right? So what Kobo is going to try to do is he's going to try to bomb him. So he's going to throw this little fade. This is verticals. We motion the tight end to the trip side. And it puts his little secret motion right here. Then we also have this streak. So it puts this defender in a significant amount of conflict. Now, I think he's manned up. Yes, triangle is manned up by the tight end. So, let's see what Kobo ends up hitting. Actually, nothing. All right. There it is. Kobo does a really uh, – he plays – it's just different, man. He's he's slower. He's slower. He's more methodical. He's more patient than most players. Um, gets a sack here. Don't love that. I don't know what that we're looking for. But there are, I think there are some moments where Kobo maybe thinks too much. I don't know if that's the right phrase, but like where he's a little too slow uh, sometimes. Not all the time, but that's why you see TJ blitzing a lot. He's going to, he sends DB, he sent DB fire to again. Now we're in fourth and 30. Probably should punt. Is he going to go for this? No, he punts it. So here we go. So both people have not done really anything offensively. Okay, so we have confirmed this is indeed dollar. So we're pinching. Why we're pinching? I, I mean, we, I understand why we're pinching. I don't understand this. I do not, for the life of me, understand why we're shifting the linebackers to the right. And let's see if he, if, if he's. I don't. It, it, it can't be to make the blitz better. It just. I don't see how that could be to make the blitz better. It's got to be for the coverage. There's the king. Nobody wants to sit by Henry. They just make him sit by himself now at the tourneys. It's crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's going to get interviewed or something, I'm sure. So we're user in here. I just don't understand this. We got four people. I don't get I don't get why you're doing this. It just doesn't, to me, doesn't make sense. So, okay, so you see how my brain is, like, working as I'm watching this film. This is an important little tip. When you're watching the best players in the world play, you have to assume that they know more than you do. They're better than you. They're obviously on the stage for a reason. He knows something I don't. He does. He's got to know something I don't. And I've got to, as I'm watching this, I'm thinking, okay, what is it that he knows? And I'm asking that serious questions. There it screams. Okay. 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 I see it. I see it a little bit. I see you, Kobo. So his, I think maybe he is doing it to make the blitz better. Nobody's done this all year. I don't know of anyone that you've seen do this. This is just basically merging three, three, five odd and dollar. Now here. Yeah, I don't also, the other thing I don't like about this. Red, 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 red. Dude, TJ's offense was terrible in this tournament. Like he even tweeted about it. I saw it. I mean, he or X'd about it, whatever you call it. Now he posted about it on X. <laughs> That's that that rolls right off the tongue. Um, his offense was terrible. It wasn't and it wasn't bad necessarily route combos. He just couldn't see. 
Like he just was. It was indecisive. It was. I mean, I'll, you you watch TJ play any other tournament this year. His reads were so fast. This for and it, what's crazy is he was in the same formation most of the game, except he just added tight slots and he was so just. I just thought, man, like I wish he would have. I wish he would have stayed in Jets. This is crazy. This is crazy right here. Look at this. I mean, you never see this this year. I don't know what he did. This has to be a flat. Hard flat just picks off the screen. Ah, it's crazy. As you see, look at Kobo. I mean, he's like, what in the world? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. That's a flat. I mean, he manned up something over there with the linebacker, which is cool, but that's crazy, me. He probably manned up triangle. That's pretty much been his adjustments every time. Hard flat to slot corner, man up triangle with the linebacker. Call it a day. Dude, I don't understand this. I'm trying so hard to understand this. So we double team here. This is the this is the pass bro. Let's see how it works. Comes, I mean, picked up. Now nah, he did block his running back, so he's gotta know something. King Henry, watch his face. Oh. <laughs> Nobody thought that'd be a pick. That's crazy. User here. I don't know what the user there. I feel like the user there doesn't make the blitz. Oh, okay. I think I know what he's doing. All right. I think I, I think I got some comms for you. I think I know what he's doing. Okay. So the thought process here is from my man Kobo. In my opinion, one of the best labbers in the community. All right. I'll show you when they if they give me the screen here. There. Okay. So he's user in this guy, right? So, okay, the blitz is designed. This guy is going to go here. This guy is going to go here. This guy is going to go here. So the line, the center has to go to the right because this guy goes to the right. Okay, that's the main thing. So when we basic, so the, the, the big key to the blitz working is I need this guard to block here, right? So... I am going to hold the tackle with my user. I think that's what he's doing. Um, I think that's why he's doing it. So you'll see here. Let me see if I can show it to you post snap. Actually goes coverage, of course. When he goes coverage, he pretty much users this guy. Now, the other thing that I, the, the thing that I don't love about that is we know in this game, if you don't have those little green bars above your head, you can't get any sheds. So you see how they're not really shedding until he rolls out of the pocket. That's a problem to me, but is what it is. So, like I said, obviously he knows something I don't, right? You'll probably see a blitz here on – you'll probably see this on fourth down here, so we'll, we'll watch for this to see. This is fourth and five. Again, this has been a very sloppy game offensively on both sides. But look here, he doesn't move him. Now he's to the left. I don't know why he would do that either. He must do that for the run. I, it just doesn't mm. – you just don't know. You just don't know sometimes why they do that. Good read by TJ. Finally, finally uh, got a first down. Nice. Yep, right there. See how it holds that tackle? That's got to be what it is. I'll show you real quick. This was actually a good example. So watch just the blitzing portion of this. Okay, so here we go. So the double team of the DT, that means this guard is going to double team here. Okay. So... If the user can hold this tackle, if he can if he can make him think he's blitzing, there's nothing to you're not gonna be able to block it. That's gotta be what he's thinking, and you see it kind of work here. And then we just have double flat. And nice little play. A lot of double flat from Kobo. I just, I'm just kind of, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I like the defense. It's unique. It's different. Um, there's a screen. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Okay. I see you, Kobo. All right, look at this. So now what he does, he sends this guy. Again, his whole thing is I'm going to hold here. That's kind of interesting. I haven't seen that. I have not seen that yet. All right, so TJ got seven. Lord, I have no idea how he got seven, but he got seven. Basically, Kobo's guy got stuck. But uh, let's see if Kobo can answer back here. So 240 or two minutes and 20-some seconds. And it's like, what do you call here, man? Let's see. 
Goes back to that play. That's open. That's a pretty play, man. That's his best play. That's been his best play, and it's open too. You notice that most of these pros, when they play a, they, when they run defense, they run basically the same couple adjustments that they've labbed for the formation. So TJ has decided that fundamentally he's going to play, and I'll show you here. TJ has basically decided um, that he is going to. I'll show you on the next play. Uh, just a little run there. Why would you run there? Probably just to take some clock. Kobo wants to make this the last drive of the half. Okay, so here's 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 TJ's basic basic deal. Let's see if I can all right, zoom out. Perfect. So TJ's basic defense. Why would this guy be backed off? This guy's backed off typically because if you run a play action play this year, sometimes this guy can just kill you on a fade. Okay. So so his basic defense is this guy's going to be in a flat. He's going to go right about to here. So. Anything in this box is this corners, okay? This guy's going to be in a half, and he needs to play basically all of this grass, anything vertical he has to take. That's the main thing. Now, the next thing is this guy is going to be in man-to-man -man basketball on this. Why? Because you want to take away that seam throw, okay? Now, uh, as for the rest of the adjustments, it's basically a hard flat here. So he's trying to take away this section. This guy's trying to take away this whole deep section. And then occasionally we might, you know, maybe man this guy up here or whatever. And typically it leaves this to be the middle third. The user's right here. This guy probably in a vertical hook. So this is pretty much what TJ is doing every, pretty much every single time defensively. So he might every now and then mix it up if he wants to blitz. But 80% of the time, that's the defense. Take a look here. Okay, look at this. Now, here we get a little bit of a variation. So he does blitz. So here's four. Uh, he bluff blitzes out. He loves to do that. He loves to blitz on one side, bluff blitz out on the other side. This guy is running to man cover here. This guy's in a flat. This is a little aggressive, but he basically mans up the tight end to try to take away the corner. I think this is uh, still a – it looks like a third over there on the left. And Kobo, I mean, look at all this. Look at all this space. Nice. Perfect. But, I mean, you watch. He did actually get a little adjusty there, but most of the game, that's been the coverage show the whole first half. Love this combo. We have a flat. We have a streak. We have a drag. We have a little short post. This is PA slot corner. And then a backside. I'd like to see this on end, but it's a drag, which is fine. But watch how this develops here. So, again... Get that out of the way. This guy, what's he doing? Man coverage on Y or triangle. Running back wide open. You should take that right now. Get your first down. Users running to the running back, but he can't make that play. But you could throw this. I think that's it's a safer throw here. He ends up throwing that. Mm. There you go. Still worked. Oh, you get a KO. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah, I had two wide receivers wide open, but we throw to the covered one, and uh, it's four for four now. And I mean, I understand. Like, I can I can pause it and I can obviously break it down. But at the end of the day, like these guys these guys know these reads. These guys know these reads. So it's just a mistake on Kobo's part. At the end of the day, love this route combo. Oh my gosh, dude, this is such a good play. All right, so this is cool. So TJ. In these situations, like fourth down and short, he blitzes a ton. So you're going to see he's going to send, uh, send a five at him, and he's usering this guy. But So, okay, what can he do from a coverage perspective? Well, I'm pretty sure we get a little uh, cover two here. So, again, this box taken away, this box, and this box. So you could throw a corner here, but you have a clear out streak. What I just love about this is look look at the running back. The running back's gonna bring the user down in here, right? This is such a good read. I love that. That's a great play from him. And that's just a simple drag. It's just a simple drag from the outside. Sometimes the simple things work best, honestly. That's just such a good play call. I love that play. I love that play in that situation. That's a good play by Kobo. All right, we got first and ten, forty seven seconds left in the half. We got the ball in the left hash mark. Going back to this deal, so this is one of his favorite plays. Flat, streak. This is one of his. This is what I would call one of his power plays. It beats everything. He loves this. This is a <laughs> Kobo is such a. 
He is such a dude, man. He he just he just figures stuff out. Look at this. Flat, the man up. There's no yellow. This should be wide open to circle. Right there. Throw it right there. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. He doesn't throw it. Throw it. But look, running back. Nope. We're going to take a scramble. Part of this, too, is clock. He doesn't want to score and give him the ball back to give him a chance to, to score. So that's another reason for some of the play calls you're seeing that he uses. Second and three, ball on the 25-yard line. Same combo. Same exact combo. Hey, he hit it. There it is. I'd like to see him hit that because you can't stop that play if you're TJ. The way TJ is adjusting to this, you can't stop that play. You have to put a, um, a hook curl or like a vert hook. And that little zig is – that's a good combo. I don't You don't see a lot of trips players run that. And it really does open up stuff. Let's see if he goes to it. So here we got flat. I think this is a Texas route. This is curl flat. Let's take a look at how this works. This is curl flat, but he has two curls. That's kind of a cool little play. Running back's wide open. He's going to let him user it. User has to take it out. This is actually kind of smart. Um, something that – people don't think a lot about is like when they cover, so like this guy's open, right? But you understand, especially at a high level, they're going to use her that. So he's using this. He's got to run with this running back up and out of the play. So look what it does. It takes him over here. And now you have, look at all this space that you have to be able to run underneath. I think that's pretty cool. He should scramble here. Let's see if he does it. Scramble, scramble. There he goes. And that's unfortunate. I feel like he was just late on the scramble. In that situation, I mean, that scramble is wide open. It's all right. All right, a little pistol bunch tight end for my off-meta fans. We're going to do a little motion block, rollout play. What the heck? What? My man Kobo? Look at this. This dude, this is what I'm saying, man. This dude is a lab rat. Who runs pistol bunch tight end cross screen in an MCS game? Nobody else but Kobo. Look at this. He's going to roll right, which I love that. I love the combo. We have a street corner, so you have to at least respect that we can roll. It's like a, a speed option to the right. Look at this. We get him clicked off. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this space. That is awesome. The fact that that's not a touchdown is so ridiculous, but that's awesome. Man, that's a cool play. <laughs> if you run trips... Getting running gun. You got a cross screen, man. That is cool. That's a cool play. Dude, Kobo's so smart. Kobo is so freaking smart, man. He finds stuff that you're just like, what in the world is that? <laughs> All right, here we go. First and goal. Ball on a seven-yard line. A little motion snap. Let's look at this here. Oh, is that a, that's a motion fade? No way. What is that? What What is that? Is that corner route? I don't know. That looks like a motion fade. That's just a little, you know, Kobo found a little something. A little something. That's got to be a That's got to be a corner. It's probably a motion corner, smart routed. I don't know. See, that's what I'm saying. Kobo, that's why I love watching Kobo because it's just, you just, you've just never seen stuff like this. It was probably that smash play. Now that I look at it, it's probably that smash. I don't know. Who knows what it was? Only Kobo does, man. Only Kobo does. 818 Madden. Go check out his offense. You know, I guarantee you no one in the Madden community runs what Kobo runs on offense. And the cool part is he's he just he's taken a meta formation, trips. It's been one of the best formations for a long time. And he has made it his own. So that's that's you love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, so now we're key situation. Now Kobo honestly is kind of a situation here. I don't know what Henry's doing. Or what uh not Henry, but uh TJ. So we're gonna we're gonna uh fast forward. All right, we're back. We got it fixed up here for you. All right, second and goal, Kobo running five million crossing routes, intentional grounding. Now it's third and twenty. Yeah, that might not be the combo, my man. <laughs> Dude, Kobo just runs stuff. Like I said, you just, I'm just like, what is he, what is he running? Goes verticals with the streak, basically just has to eat it. And that's going to be, that's going to be the first half. So that's going to be the first half. All right, well, we'll jump ahead here. 
I want to watch that Henry interview. I'll have to go back and take a look at that. Now, who gets ball out of half here? We see he's on a fourth down, but I think it's Kobo. Yeah, Kobo, uh, It's on. he has a lot of stuff open, and I just feel like he's not seeing it. A little zone weak to the right. Dude, he's going to pistol bunch tight end. He's got a system out of pistol bunch tight end, man. This dude... <laughs> Kobo, man, he is just a lab rat. He has figured some stuff out. And we have not seen a lot of people that play like Kobo be successful on the MCS stage, honestly. And it's been cool to see him be so good. He really is. I mean, he beat Henry 42-19. to 19. That's pretty impressive. And here he is a Madden Bowl. So, uh, anyway, third and nine here. Didn't have anything. Let's see what he goes to here little motion. I don't know what we're doing with that motion there. He probably was trying to block him. I don't know what he was doing with that motion. He has to be trying to block him. If he's trying to snap a route like that, I guess he's – I mean, I guess I understand it, but it's just – it's it's nothing really – there's nothing – it's not a very effective decision. All right, fourth and nine. All right, got to have it down. What do you call – what do we call here? This is probably verticals. Whoa, we got a little short corner – Little short corner. You got the running back. Is this a streak? That should be open. Yep. Good read. Uh that's PA slot corner. I was doing that last year. I really was. I was motioning this across and it just got this sharp because it gets the, that super sharp cut. Yeah, see, see, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to block him. And I think he just mistimed the snap. Out of PA corner. Yeah, I mean TJ's humming too. I think this is this is just straight up. We're not in spinner. This has got to be DB fire. Just you see DB fire screams at trips though. It screams. It's interesting how blitzes sometimes they scream against certain formations. Other formations they don't as much. He's also not pinching. Look at this thing just screaming at him. Wow. Huh. Spread D line dollar. Versus trips just absolutely hums at you. If Kobo gets seven here, though, he's fine. I mean, he's in a good spot if he gets seven. This is backed off, backs off this defender. Motion in. Let's see what we got going here. Are we going to send him? Probably not. It's probably coverage. Yeah. No, what do I know? Verticals. Yep, good read. I love that play. Dude, that's such a good play. Man, dude, Kobo is just... Gosh. I like watching him. I just like watching him play. He just plays unique. He runs a meta formation, but he runs it in a, a off meta way. So he's going back to that combo streak crosser in route streak corner. Let's see, I think he has ends up just checking it down. Kobo's out here bluing. Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be Kobo? Why wouldn't you know how to blue? Freaking lab rat. Let's go. PA corner. Flat, wide open. Finally takes it. Should be seven. Tree Archer. Also, shout out to Kobo for using the most, uh, the the whatever it's called, the Mutt, Mutt, Mutt Future team. Not very many people were using that. I thought everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody was in the playoff theme team. He's out here with Dion. I mean, he's he's got the squad. Little speed option. Whoa. Dude, this dude Kobo. He's out here in speed option. In trips. Why wouldn't you be, man? Little speed option. The journal is crazy. Speed option inside the five. This is why, like, if you were in Bears playbook, you could do that out of Bears playbook. They have a speed option. You could journal out of it. He did that to uh, one of his matchups. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is scary. Um, who did he do that to? It was like a fourth down. He got it. He got the jordan. Might be this game, but I think I thought it was somebody else. He played like uh, on the I think the thirtieth. This has got to be flat in slant post or something, dude. He's into this fade. He's into this. That's a corner route. It's not a fade. Oh my gosh, Kobo, finding a way, not playing his best ball, but finding a way when he needs to. That's what I'm saying, man. Just get stingy in the red zone. Seriously. Kobo's got something out of that. 
All right, here we go. Back to this defense. It's not screaming. But it's kind of baggy. Kind of baggy. Dude, TJ's 8 of 9. This is a sloppy game. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, this is going to come down to like a, a, a D-line pick or something. I don't know. This is a sloppy, sloppy game. This, should, this, this, this is a sloppy game. There's not much really to see. They're both not playing really that good. Uh, I want to see this blitz, like if he actually found something here. His user, the user in here, yep. Blitz, yep, yep, yep. Nice read. Nice read from TJ. Dude, TJ sometimes he makes – you can see the talent in TJ. Like he makes these reads sometimes, and they are just incredible, some of his reads and how he, he – and his ability just to clutch up. He's got the clutch factor. He really does. He just does some stuff sometimes. It's like, what are you doing? Look at his screaming. Red. Dude, TJ cannot blue. He can't blue. He has not been trained. So if you guys didn't know, if you get a blue on the pass, it's going to give it perfect perfect accuracy. I think I've talked about this a little bit before. So we're double teaming here. Let's see if this comes in. This is a double team. Comes right in. Okay. Kobo figured something out. Beakers. Kobo got his lab beakers out, tested some things. That was cool. All right. All right. We're going into fourth. If I'm Kobo, I feel pretty good. I feel like I can hold a three right here. I mean, it's sloppy how he's moving. Both of these guys, like I said, they're just they're they are some of the best Madden players in the world. They're better Madden players than I am. They are just playing. I just don't think they're playing well. They're playing sloppy. Let's get this in. Come on. Come on, Kobo. Scream. Nope. Boom. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Every time TJ goes to tight slots, it's it's not uh I mean, like I said, I, I just think he should have ran more bunch strong in this tournament. I think he was trying to make tight slots better than it is. I don't or better than it is for him. You know, you, everyone has an offense that they fit in. And um, whether you're if you like a spread out form or a tight form or a trips form, those are all decisions, right? Tight slots is a tough formation, in my opinion, to run this year uh, because I think the bumping in zones uh, can make the reads a little cloudy. And uh, I feel like you see that a lot. Here we go. Dime normal. Let's see if we're sending the gas. Third and inches. He's doing this so he doesn't get ran on. Good. Nope. Good read. Good read. TJ, see, in these clutch situations, TJ goes back to his bread and butter. I wish he would have just ran his bread and butter. I feel like had he done that, he'd probably be in a better position to win this game. I mean, he's not in a, or not this, this game, but the tournament. Um, he's 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 not in a bad position to win the game, but like I said, like you go to tight slots for what? This is an interesting. I think this is nickel over. That's the thing about Kobo, man. He has like 15 different defenses that he's learned. Might be big nickel. We're going to get this guy through the gaps. We're going to go blitz, 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 blitz. Right down the middle. Boom. That's crazy. That's good D. Oh, I told you. I told you. D-line pick six. I told you guys, D line. I told you, this was going to come down to a D line pick. Look at this. <laughs> and honestly, like you, I mean, you got to throw the ball away. Now the knock on CJ Stroud is that he can't, like his throw away is really slow. It is really slow. I mean, he has him, but he's not. I don't think he's throwing the ball away. I think he's trying to throw a touchdown. Kobo up seven or up ten now. And there's not a lot of clock left. So uh, defensively, you're playing Bimba don't break. You just keep everything in front of you. Should be a pretty good uh, deal. But we'll see here. I mean, Kobo's in position to win this game. Let's see what he does. Now he's going to – is he going to stay in that? I don't understand. See, Kobo does this. This is what I don't understand. So Kobo does this a lot. So, yeah, he's going to stay in this. I think this is nickel over, and basically we're just blitzing down here. He wants to – basically what he does is he'll find a defense that you just – he doesn't think you would like or like they – like if he runs it and you just don't look like you really – like under – you know, you don't really feel comfortable against that defense, he'll sit in that. The problem to me is this is objectively, in my opinion, not a great defense uh, because there's just a lot of – like, if you pick up the blitz, everything's open. Everything's open. And, I mean, you don't even have to. There you see Jurtle, corner out. 
I just feel like I feel like Dollar, what he was doing out of Dollar was better. Nickel over and dime normal on those defenses. Those are situational defenses where it's like, okay, we need to make sure we're sound against the run. I mean, he just he's just cooking. He's cooking against this. Almost gets him again though. I mean, you you see TJ's offense looks significantly better this drive than it's looked all game. But I mean, it is a good blitz. It really is. Just sending these five scream. R1, nice read. The problem is, like I said, the coverage is pretty – like when you send five this year, what can you actually do in coverage? Like you can do a lot, but you can't do – like you're you're leaving uh, – if you're using man coverage, you're leaving them on the island if you send five this year. And, 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 and the rat catch animations are tough. Now, right here, I love dime normal or nickel over. It looks like Kobo saying my red zone scheme is dime normal. Uh, or my 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 little ten and in defense is dime normal, which is cool, I like that. But I mean, dot. I mean, here's why I don't like that. Well, look at it. Why do I like six one? I talked about it before. The the formation itself. So in dime normal, he is fifteen yards off the line of scrimmage. Fifteen yards. In six one, he would be like right in here. The difference between that space is massive on the goal line, which is why if he backs up, if TJ's looking at this guy, if he backs up, we're throwing right here and look at, and you'll see here. Let me try to get a still photo. So you see, boom. Okay. The second this guy leaves that space touchdown every time. I mean, this is an easy read uh, for TJ and he's good at these kind of reads. Boom. I mean, that's, and he gets a blue. So it doesn't throw the ball in the third row. That's that's a good drive from Kobo or uh, from TJ, and now Kobo's got to answer. Now I think TJ onside kicked. Did he onside kick? Did I miss something? I think he did. Yep, he onside kicks. So Kobo gets it about midfield. Now the reason for the onside kick is uh, so that he doesn't get clocked out. So he's trying to get a stop. Tied in. Gosh, Kobo. I don't understand what he's doing uh, with the. I don't know. I mean, TJ's screaming at him. DB fire too. This is if you if you want to know how to play trips. The spread D line and dollar it does hum at trips. It really does. Because Kobo's blocking, ID in, motioning. I mean, look at this. Now we're sending three, which is fine. I mean, you should run. Yep. I don't know. I feel like trips just in general. I, I, it's hard to, it's hard to say that. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like trips in general is, is, um, it's, it's weakness has always been pressure, which is weird because it has so many really cool blocking, like play action blocking plays. And we get a delay. Oh, he couldn't snap the ball. Okay. Come on. All right. Let's get back to it. <laughs> All right. Third and four. Two minutes, 14. DB fire. Look at the DB fire screaming at him. I mean, that's a pick. This is what this is the problem with trips right here. Look at this. This is pinched. Oh, this is pinched. Oh, heck. Oh, my gosh. My new trips to his DB fire. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is just uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. So he looks out here. He sees this guy roll down. I don't know why he throws that. I mean, it's a tough read, and it's a pressure situation. Zig's going to be wide open. That's unfortunate. Fourth and two. Got to have it down from Kobo. You cannot kick three here. You got to go for this. Uh, you kick three here. I think it's a bad mis It's a big mistake. Now, I will say they've been playing so sloppy, you actually could think about taking three because you might trust your defense to stop TJ because, again, it's been such a sloppy game. This has been a slobber knocker of a game. I mean, just a slobber knocker fest here. Why does it... I don't like this call. Eh. So we basically, for the money, fourth and two. So we got to have it. What are we going to do? Well, let's throw him on a streak. Let's throw him on a streak. And we're trying to get this guy really in this pocket. But, I mean, mm, be tough to hit that. We know he's manned up triangle every single time. So let's run him on a short post. The user's going to have to roll here. You would think this would be open, but again, this the hard flat should be able to come over here because we don't have anything to take the flat out. So for the money, this is the route combo. 
drag post drag and we're looking at these pockets really that's what we're looking at let's see if he hits it right now you got to throw the drag right now there's you're not gonna have anything else you can't throw it i guess he can scramble yeah fumble oh <laughs> Dude, TJ low key. <laughs> TJ's not having a good day. <laughs> TJ's not having a good day. I mean, he's uh, <laughs> this is a slobber knocker of a game. This has been an absolute slob fest, man. Uh, now we're in this. Now we're in this. Run the ball. <laughs> I mean, gosh, this is just something. This is something. This is for forty or fifty some thousand dollars, and we're running pistol bunch tight. <laughs> like, and obviously he's lavved it. I'm not saying he hasn't, but I w and, and the purpose, the whole purpose of that formation was just to get the clock moving. So no big deal. We're trying to take TJ's timeouts here. Honestly, I think about kicking three if I can get his timeouts away because of how sloppy he's been. Uh, here, I don't know what, look at this thing scream at him. Even though he's blocking the blitz, the thing is the pressure gets, it gets here. It gets here when it's picked up. That's the problem in, in other formations. When you run this, it gets picked up out here, but in, in, uh, trips for whatever reason, this thing just absolutely hums at trips. I don't know what it is about it, but anyways, um, yeah, I mean, this is just uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Hmm. And he breaks. Oh my gosh! Another one without a fumble, dude. TJ is TJ is so fired up, dude. TJ is so mad. He is so beside himself that he cannot get a fumble. All right, seventeen, fourteen minutes, six, third down. Got to have it down. Okay, this is in a little bit of a critique I have here. I have a little critique. Kobo is known to sometimes just kind of not think, or not not necessarily not think, but like forget the situation. Third down and 10, you're in field goal range, and there's a minute and seven, and you have 12 seconds on your game clock. He did not call a timeout. This has to the, – you have to take this down to 50 seconds. You cannot snap this ball before this goes to one for a lot of different reasons. Uh, I'm shocked that he snapped this at 10 seconds because he can get it down – he can get it down to under 50 yeah, I, I don't like that decision. Or very close to 50 seconds. Now, he does have a dot. Gets shedded. Mm, that's tough. Yep, gets shedded. Fourth and 14. Now, you got you to gotta kick field goal here. To me, you kick a field goal here. You do. You, 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 you're, you, you've you not been able to do much offensively this game. You, you got uh, to kick here. Uh, everybody's going to tell you to go for it. I understand that if he gets the first down, the game's over. The way TJ is playing offense, I feel like you kick this. I feel like you got to kick it. I really do. What's the call for the money? Fourth and 14. Okay, TJ's in, and you're going to get DB fire. You know it's coming. You have not been able to do anything against this all game long. We run PA slot corner. Our motion block, I, I would assume he meant to do that. I just, this is not going to be open. This is your read. And it's not, yeah, just, I mean, what are you throwing? What are you throwing? You can't throw that. Got to throw that. Oh, we're throwing that. Oh, we're throwing that. Oh, no. Okay, I do get, I guess I do understand. I guess I do understand why you go for it. Because you put, like, you put him in a position where he's got to drive the length of the field. I get that part. Ah, oh, man, I just feel like those routes, like, Kobo's calling plays that take way too long against the defense he's playing. Ultimately, that's part of the issue. Like, you got to, like, you got a quick dot. You got a quick dot DB fire. He sent DB fire 90% of this game. Very rarely did TJ play coverage. It was send five out of DB fire two every time and adjust. And mainly the adjustments were very similar. So here we go. DJ, TJ has got a guac, uh, whatever you call it, a money drive. Running back, no, no way. Don't throw that. No, yep. See, this is what I'm saying, man. If he doesn't have a timeout and he's down by six, ah, I just, mm. 
I just I just feel like you kick three there the way this game has been played. TJ has not been able to drive like the defense from Kobo has been solid. And and, and and I don't know that necessarily the defense has been solid. It's just TJ's offense has been terrible in the tournament. It really has. Not just this game. Pretty much every game. Scream right up the middle. Dude, Kobe, this blitz is something. This blitz is humming. This blitz is humming for sure. R1. Can't throw that. You got to scramble. Take your first. Get out of bounds. Good job. Nice play. Yeah, I... Jeez. Kobo had every opportunity to win this game. Kobo had every opportunity to win this game. That's unfortunate. Uh, he just didn't play well. Sometimes that happens, man. Sometimes you just don't play well. Okay, where are we throwing? We got to take that away. We got to take that away. We got to take that away. Yep, okay. No. Oh, what a dot. Oh, man, that's tough. Kobo must have thought that 30-yard cloud would play that. I don't know if he backed him off or not. That's tough. He gave that up. Man, that's terrible. That's a... Oh, you can't give that up, man. Let me see what he did here. That's a. Did he back him off though? That's what I want to see. Yes, this is the why. This is why it's completed. So for thirty yard clouds to actually get deep enough to guard this corner route, and it would have been a stretch for it to guard it because TJ smart. He runs it from the wide, from the right hash to the left side. <sighs> And he's over here. What is Kobo doing over here? You got a hard flat, you got a cloud, and you got a half. The problem is this cloud can't get enough depth because it's not backed off. Mm. I feel like that's pretty bad defense, honestly. I mean, I guess if they ran double corner, it'd be fine. I don't know. He's ran that play every time he's motioned out. He's ran that play. You gotta. I feel like you gotta play that better. And, and Kobo probably would agree. I don't know. He might disagree with everything I say. And he can. He's a better player than me. He's made more money. He's made more live than all the things. So, But I just I – just, I feel like this game – he could have got out of this game, and I think he just beat himself. Well, actually, now to me, if I'm TJ, I guess, I, I guess, he's, I guess he's just confident in his defense. And he's gonna go up by four. If he was, if he was, if he, if his score put him up by three, he probably would have went down there. But he's gonna go up by four. So now Koba has to go the length of the field. See, that's why I would. That's why I would have kicked three. That's why I would have kicked three if I was in Kobo's shoes there. Even though, but, but it's mainly because TJ's offense has been bad. Like this is the best play he's had all game. That's the best play he's had, and you knew it was coming because he's done it every freaking time he's motioned out. Um. Yeah, I just feel like it's just a bad, bad, uh, just not, not, not championship football, you know. Not good enough. Second five, cross unders the play call, dude. Sometimes I'm like, what are we trying to accomplish? <laughs> Let's take a look here. Ah, we can't see it. Cross under, drag, streak, flat, get out of bounds. That's fine. That's perfect. Good job. Perfect. Good management of the situation. He just has to get himself in scoring range, honestly. You just got to get yourself in scoring range here. So that was a good combo. TJ's obviously trying to keep the lid on, so you're going to get deep, deep zone drops or cover four. Um, you you need to just get work the ball up and down the field. You got to play sideline. You do have two timeouts, which you really can use the whole field because of your two timeouts, I will say. you can use your You can use the whole field. My marker thing is going nuts. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Block. Oh, we got screamed at. Oh, he almost picked it. Oh, my gosh. Dude, TJ is screaming out of this. Man. He he absolutely screamed at trips all game. It's 10-5 pretty much all game. Kobo can't beat it. Kobo has nothing for send $5. Literally nothing. Like, what have we seen that tells us if he blitzes here, what have we seen? I mean, this is fascinating to me. I mean, this is one of the most basic blitzes in Madden. And we can't, not only can we not pick it up, we can't do anything. Look at this. Now we're sending six. Okay. Now, part of it is situational. This is another problem with trips. Look at this. Look at this receiver. He's on the ground. He's irrelevant now. I mean, this is, 
Hmm. This kind of exposed trips, to be honest. Not the whole game, not the whole game, but in the key moments, in the key moments, send five dollar, just absolutely, just basic. And DB Fire Two has bag trips tied in, probably for at least two, if two out of the last three years, if not all of the last three years, which is, um, you know, you ever played trips tied in, <laughs> you know, just just there you go. There's you know, send five dollars, tough to beat, at least for the way Kobo runs the trips. Send them again. Pick. Gosh. Dude, TJ is like... TJ is low-key. I mean, not even low-key. I mean, TJ, Kobo had a lot of advantages this game. I think he ends up conceding. Well, boys, that'll do it for the film room. It sucks. I love watching Kobo play. I wish he would have won the game. TJ ends up winning this one. We know he ultimately loses to Henry, but really exposed trips tight end. Obviously something you can take away if you ever play someone that's running trips. Having DB Fire 2, DB Fire 2 seems to do a really, really good job at defending trips tight end. Obviously, you got to make the right adjustments out of it, but and we teach you how to do that in our ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, you can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link in the description.